All right, once again, it's time to update the tier list that everyone hates, but um, I'm doing it anyway because I really enjoy making it, so that's cool. Um, as usual, we have the eight tiers and then the keys for different things that the champion could do. For instance, Wiccan, I think he needs his Awaken ability. Uh, this is Scarlet Witch Classic, I think she needs Sigs. Null, I think he's usually good in Labyrinth. And I think people won't like that placement, but that's just how my tier list goes, because this is 100% my opinion, because this is the totally unbiased offensive tier list. And I have added the two new characters this month, and then made a few changes that I'll go into after that. Starting with Cassie Lang, which I've put right here, because I think Cassie can do a lot of really cool things with her power stings, because she's basically spider ham in a sense where that's going to be your main source of damage and scorpion kind of but um i think she also has some alternate sources of damage like her special two uh when it gets the guaranteed crits i don't think she's better than spider ham at the moment that could obviously change but i do think she's a very solid champion and i i can't really say that much about her because i just think she's pretty plain and simple her miss mechanic on the heavy attack is pretty interesting, but um, I wouldn't say it's nearly as good as like Spot or the common Ghost Tigra and Kitty miss mechanics. So it works really well with her kit, but it's not something that you're going to rely on constantly. Although I can see it having plenty of uses like when you need to phase the Mangog special special too, which I've seen people do a few times, same with Bishop's SP2, stuff like that. And I think in that scenario it's going to be pretty nice to have. But um, yeah, when you're worried about like an unblockable node, I don't think she's going to be the one you want to go to for that. Same, Obviously the same with Spot, but like Kitty, Tigra, Ghost, they'll all do pretty well against unblockable. Even Tigra, who does have to get them in the corner, so. That's my opinions on Cassie Lang, and I think for future Ant-Man, I put him right here. I really like this champion. Um, I think he's got some really cool power control. I don't entirely know, I like, I played him myself, and I didn't exactly know how to do it, but I need to research some Karate Mike stuff, because I watched his video on how to play him, but I don't remember exactly how, but from what I've seen from his videos and some other CCP videos, he can, he's got some really good power control. And then once you get going, your damage is pretty pretty nice. I think for Battlegrounds, he's going to be average. He's not going to be bad, but um, I think he's got like a damage source about the same time as a Mega Sentinel would take. And I use a Mega Sentinel in Battlegrounds quite often, because if you don't, if you don't draft your Nimrod, a Mega Sentinel is still going to be great. And then... And then she's also great against non-mutants still. Like, I've used a Mega Sentinel versus a Doom, but no, nothing, no more about a Mega Sentinel. But for future Ant-Man, I think that his power control is really cool. There's definitely better out there, but it's still pretty, pretty nice to have. His damage is really good for medium fights. I think for, like, story content, this guy is going to be really good. And with 8.2 coming around soon, there could be some really cool paths that he'd be able to play. Um, I think story content is definitely going to be the best place for him. I think Battlegrounds, he'll still do pretty well, and he'll definitely have his uses, specifically with his power control, and it has he has pretty good damage with that power control. He's also got that cool safeguard mechanic that is really good, especially since it caps, like, passive damage, like Galen's Harvest as well. I remember trying to use Galen against future Ant-Man when he was ending the event quest, and it just didn't go well, obviously, so I think um, in a lot of scenarios, especially with the regen you get from that hit, it's going to be really, really nice to have, you know. So that's my opinions on future Ant-Man. Uh, between future Ant-Man and Cassie, I think Cassie's better, but I think they're really close together. They're just too really solid champs, which is why they're in the crazy good tier, even though I said solid, and there's solid tier right here. Okay, for the changes that I've made, I've made five changes, and starting with Shuri, I still think this is a horrible champion, but she's getting buffed, and 
there are definitely some things she can do right now that are kind of cool, but I still think that she's really bad in her present state. And I really hope that she gets a very significant tune-up um, when she gets rebalanced, which we already know is going to happen. But uh, it's just a matter of when, which... Um, it, it'll probably be a little while, like at least a few months before we get to know what it is. I also moved up Zemo, who I definitely underrated when he first came out. I think I moved him into Crazy Good. He was in Solid. Like, um, Karate Mike, he just makes some really good content, and then I watched his war video, and like, wow, this guy can do some really cool things. And that's why I moved Zemo up to Crazy Good, because I think he is crazy good, and he can do some really cool things, specifically in Alliance War, also story content I think he'll be great for. He definitely can do some cool things in Abyss and Labyrinth, although I think there are better Abyss and Labyrinth champs. Battlegrounds, he's still fine. Like, there's not a piece of content where he's going to be really bad for. It's just he's going to be good or really good. And so, that the fact that you can use him basically anywhere, I think, is really important. And he, he could even go in Beyond God tier. But, um, I'm going to leave him here for now. And maybe I'll get one for myself when he comes in the featured really, really soon. And that'll be nice to mess around with. So, after Baron Zemo, I took up Chavez to solid tier as well, which is just, uh, I mean, crazy good tier, which is just the largest tier because there's just so many crazy good champions in this game with how well the new champs are that come out and the rebalancing stuff like Chavez and Gore are just ridiculous now. Um, Chavez, I've seen so many Alliance War videos on her. I'm not in, t in top tier Alliance War, but there's so many different cool things she can do. And, um, you know, I've heard people saying she's got pl before she got buffed, she has plenty of utility. All she needed was a numbers tweak, and that's what she got. And now look how good she is. That was just, that's exactly what she needed. They were 100% right, whoever said that. And yeah, Alliance War, Battlegrounds, she'll be great for. I just think it was a really, really solid buff. Next is Gore, which I moved to Beyond God tier, which I, I absolutely love Gore. This is probably my favorite champion in the game right now yes i think i i like him more than captain britain right now i love this buff so much and it is absolutely one of my favorite buffs in the entire game probably my favorite buff in the entire game i put him in beyond god tier with hulkling and gallon i think he's worse than hulkling and gallon but just because that he's higher than gallon here doesn't mean i think he's better like for instance over here, it doesn't make me think that Spider-Ham is the best of these these science champs in the crazy good tier. It's just, those are grouped together. Because ranking every champ individually is hard, especially with, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9 science champs in the crazy good. And they're, that makes it really hard to choose between them. Like, you can try, and I've made some ranking videos before, but it's, just, it's never easy. And back to Gore. His Battlegrounds, I've just made made a really good video, I think, of him in Battlegrounds. And he just slapping defenders with big health pools like APOC, like Overseer. Although I don't think using him against Overseer is good, good exactly. But like Nimrod also, he gains a bunch of armor ups and keeps t being tanky. He destroys Battlegrounds. He's going to destroy story content. He's going to destroy um, Labyrinth, not Abyss, because he needs hits and you only have a limited amount of hits in i don't know maybe you do good in abyss I, I don't think so though but um yeah i think he's really good for story content side quests just everywhere just one sp3 and you're completely done and i just have so much fun with this character his undermine also from his buff is maybe the best auto block counter in the entire game. That's another thing I want to make a video on. But um, yeah, top five cosmic in my opinion. And lastly, I moved up APOC one. I hate this champion, as many of you know. I I I hate this guy so much. But um, I did move him into crazy good because he is. He definitely does do some cool things, even though I still think, like, you're not using them in Battlegrounds, and 
you take him into Abyss, he'll be effective, but I hate 10 minute fights. And so you really only want to use him for the Karina challenge he fits for in Abyss. Um, Gauntlet, he is really, really good for, I'll give him that. For Gauntlet, he is kind of stupid. And he can do some Eternity of Pain stuff, but I'd rather use Tigra or Herc or just a bunch of other champs who can take multiple fights. And yeah, I, I don't like this champion. I think he's maybe the most overrated champion in the game, but he can still do some, some cool things, and I will have to admit to that because he's got results. So yeah, I put, I gave him, I hate them, and people will hate this because I think they will. But anyway, that's the tier list. This is what it looks like. If you want to leave a comment about a specific champion, um, I'll definitely read it. I'll definitely consider your opinion. And I'll definitely make a change if I feel necessary. And just don't leave a comment that's just completely negative and gives me absolutely no idea as to how to improve the tier list. Like, if you want to be negative, at least give me an, like, a reason to improve it. Because I want to know how to improve the tier list. Because I don't want it to be something no one cares about, you know? I want to take in the criticism I have and make it a good thing. Just make sure that it actually can help me improve the tier list, you know? Anyway, that's about it. And... I hope you enjoyed listening to me.